Digi fans, and welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now, in today's tutorial, we're going to be taking on the 200 word challenge. Okay, so before we go on to our tutorial on how to use Adobe Spark page to do the 200 word challenge, I want you to watch this little video on bike helmets. <laughs> Should cyclists be forced to wear helmets? If you fall off your bike and hit your head whilst wearing a helmet, the evidence shows the helmet will help protect you. Doctors see patients sustain skull fractures and unsurvivable brain injuries as a consequence of the head striking the ground without a helmet. Some argue that introducing helmet legislation would significantly reduce the proportion of individual cyclists that are killed on roads. However, research also indicates that forcing people to wear helmets would make cycling less appealing and probably reduce the amount of cycling. Evidence shows that the health benefits of cycling vastly outweigh the health risks. In the UK, there is one death for every 30 million miles cycled, making it about as safe as walking. Let's hear what you think. Do you think wearing a helmet while cycling should be made law? How might being forced to wear a helmet affect the popularity of cycling? Why is it important to keep active through walking and cycling as opposed to traveling everywhere by car? And how can towns and cities be designed to encourage more people to cycle? Okay, so when creating your Spark page, you just go to spark.adobe.com or if you're using a phone or a tablet, you go to the Spark Post app, press the plus there and go down to web page. Start off by adding a title. Now, uh, I'm gonna also add a background to this, kind of like a header photo. Now you can upload your own photos if you like or connect to any one of these services, but I'm gonna show you the free photos, cycling. Now there's all sorts of cool photos down here, but the one that I really like for this header, I think is gonna be this one. So you can scroll to start writing your story and I'll just put a little intro, I think. Now let me show you something. If I want, I can change this from normal text to like header one, for example, header two. Uh, you can do other things like you can make sure it's centered. Uh, you can change it into a quote even if you like. And one of the things I'll also show you is that you can change the theme. And look how this changes things. You keep an eye on the screen in the center. I click that. Ah, everything's kind of changed. Uh, maybe I'll add a little bit. Right, look at what I can do here. I can actually put in a button. So 200 word challenge. And then it's asking me for a URL. Now, this is the page with the challenge on it. Here you can see the video that you watched before and all the different questions that you had so if i paste that in there and i will also choose to center it make sure the button's in the middle et voila okay so here's my response now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click split layouts i'm going to do this whole thing using split layouts and this is where you can have an image on one side and text on another so i've written all of my text here uh, and i'm going to go here and click text now what you'll see here is it separates it out for me because there was a line in between the question and the answer it's quite handily separated it out for me I might change that to heading two i think that's pretty cool so if i go here and you can use cycling again here possibly or ooh, this is a cool one so that's my first section let me show you this as well one of the things that you can do is I was looking at different videos on YouTube for some advice around people who've actually thought about whether cyclists should be forced to wear helmets. And I watched this video here, so I'm gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna go back to my webpage and look at what I can do here. I can also put a video in there. I can put in a YouTube, Vimeo, or Spark video link. Check that out. Isn't that cool? We've got the question, got a bit of research here, and then we've got my answer. Nice. Time to go on to uh, question number two. So if I click split layout again, what it does automatically is we have the picture on the left on here, and now it's given me the options of the picture on the right. Add it in, the text again, nice. Change this to heading two, I think that's quite cool. 
when I wrote that, I was thinking of people like BMX riders. Often they don't wear helmets, so I'm going to just put BMX in. Look at here, but look at all the choice we've got. Oh, this one's cool. Check that out. And let me also show you how to change the focal point. And if I move the focal point up like that, you'll actually see that we actually see this chap's head. Then we go to question and answer number three. Add in my text. So when I go to find my photo here, and I'm going to go to car. Now you can choose all sorts of different things here. Ooh, I like that one. Add in another split layout. Add in my text. Uh, change that to header two. Ooh, maybe I'll show you. Look, I could do it as a quote. Go over to add an image. I'm still in my free photos. Click pedestrians. Now, which one do I want? Great. And what I really like about Spark Page is that it's, it looks so beautiful when you present it. So here, you can scroll through it just using your trackpad if you like. But also, let me show you. You can use your left and right arrow, and it does this. So here's my header. One click, there's my intro. One click, there's my question number one. One click, question number two, question number three, and finish off with question number four. When it's time to share, just click there, publish and share. And you can create a link just by clicking that button there. And there you have it. Okay, well done on completing the 200 word challenge. Now it's over to you. I hope you enjoyed that, Digi fans. As always, please do share your work with me using the hashtag Digidom or find me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer, so I can share your work with a larger audience and congratulate you on completing the 200 word challenge. As always, if you want these videos before anybody else, you've got to subscribe. So subscribe and get it done with. Mm -hmm.